Here we are guys, live Monday night as usual, episode number 28 this time and we've brought you back outside to, we're just outside Newton Arge, Bangor in Cundalig at the Ross George Fishery and I'm pleased to introduce you, bring you over Tony and we'll show you uh, Mr Kevin McGill who set this fishery up. I believe when you last year Kevin? Yep, last year, last June. Excellent stuff and how's it been going for you? It's going very very well, um, the last couple of months it's just starting to kick off very well. Um, good to see a fly light back on the lake. Um, this has been the first season really for the summer. Um, we opened in June last year, so as I say, yeah, almost 11 months done. So it's been going well. Excellent stuff. And every every time you see something up here, Kevin, there's always something else getting added on. Everything. Everything changes every day by day. Um, yeah. It's great, so it is. Um, I would be lost without the members. They've really knocked their plan in, to be honest. You know, so. Um, but we're we'll extending, extending, and we're getting better. So we are super stuff. Um, and this, Kevin, this lake, uh, it's the department owner, is it or? Um, NA Water, okay. they own the lake and round the land, and then um, Zero then give me the permit. Yeah. So they do. Um, what I've done is taken a very long lease, yeah. and um, we de we want to develop this into um, a family organization where people can come and enjoy themselves so the lease has really been extended for me um, which has been a brilliant uh, asset for us excellent stuff and in the lake what have we in the lake we have uh, rainbow trout we have brown trout and we have blue we have rainbows from a pound right up to about 11 pounds um, that's what was put in and any trout um, the biggest that's been caught at the moment is 13 pound eight and that was by ding um, so they're feeding very, very well. Okay. So they're they're coming on rightly. Yeah. Well, I noticed whenever we came up there, there was there was a fair, fair wee rise going on for the time of night. Yeah, fair rise. It's still a bit early. Um, usually about quarter past nine. Okay. Half nine. I'll not put a time on it exactly, but yeah, it's quite good. Um, quite a lot of anglers you'll find they'll come up later on towards the end of the night and come and hit it. So mm -hmm. quite good. And what sort of this time of the year, what sort of things have we got going? Is it the buzzers or? Um, at buzzers at the moment, um, they've also hit the emergers. Um, we have a lot of uh, sedge come about to start to come on. We bit early maybe just as yet, but the hawthorns are starting to come off the golf course. Yeah. So they're coming down. Um, and kindness or kindness, should I say? Um, so they're <laughs> starting to hit the water, and it's it is really good fun. You know. Tony, come on over here. Do you see just how clear the water is up at the fishery? Um, I've been quite a few now, and um, maybe can't see it with the rain actually tonight. But this is one of the clearest lakes uh, I've been to. And a couple of times I've been up here, you can actually see the fish coming around the edges. But um, what's the sort of topography of the lake like? How is it deep or? It is deep. Um, really, really starting from the pontoon that we're, where we have the boats down towards uh, where Ronnie is at the moment, uh -huh. uh, about 50 yards, but between 14 and 17 feet and then gets a lot deeper uh, into the middle. Um, moving on round to the bottom with between 23 and 34 feet. And really from the church up parallel to ourselves here, um, we've got about 23 feet. Uh, that's going out about four rod lengths, five rod lengths out. And then round the corner is fresh running water coming in. And there's a pocket of about eight, 10 feet. Um, as I say, in the middle, it actually comes up into the middle, be about 11 feet the whole way down the lake. Um, so yeah, there is quite a lot of undulation in it, so it's, it's just not a, a bottom, bottomless pit. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, you have photos and all in there as well? Yeah, with photos as well, yeah, there's people standing down the bottom and it was oh. emptied, so it's actually quite surprising what you would see. And mm -hmm. um, the lorries came in and fixed it all up and put uh, quite a lot of concrete in around the, the, the dam walls, and when the lorries were in, you just couldn't see the tops of them, so that's how deep it is, you know, it's surprising. And I see there's a few boats sitting here. Yep, uh, with boats for hire. Um, we've just got the jetty almost finished. Um, the jetty there was made by the uh, the guys from the, the club. Uh, boats for hire, they're going out at the moment for two people uh, during the day until, seven, uh, until five o'clock, 10 pounds. Um, and then at night time, they're five pounds. Yeah. Um, if you're on your own during the day, 7.50 and uh, it's only a couple of pounds at night time if you're in the room. So as I say, um, we're trying to keep our prices down as a charity, um, bring some money in and uh, get it back out into the community as possible, quick as possible. But as I say, at the moment, the money has been coming in and going back into the, the 
basically the surroundings here and then back into a lake um, with a, another stocking due next week. Okay. So we're going to have sort of a quarter ton, so um, that will stir the fish up. And is, it, is the charity, Captain, like what was the sort of incentive to start the whole thing off? Or? Well, really, well I love fishing and I used to go fishing with my son, uh, Ross, um, do a lot of fishing and shooting. And tragically, Ross um, drowned uh, back in 2013, December. And it took me a lot of time to sort of emotionally get over it. And after a while, you know, myself and Annette thought, right, what could we really do? And we thought, right, we love fishing. Let's start up the fishery and get the charity back behind it. And that's what we've done. And, you know, we want people from all walks of life, no matter what creed or religion you are, come and enjoy the surroundings. And, you know, all the money coming in off the lake will go back out to the local communities. Um, January, we have, uh, 1st of January, we'll have a competition uh, in Ross's name. Okay. And uh, that will be going to the RNLI. This year we did it for the first and we raised £655. Okay. And it was one bad day, um, weather-wise, but the anglers absolutely loved it. Yeah. You know, first competition and it was a brilliant day for me anyway. Um, but I say that's that's really the background around it, yeah. you know. And then, like, what did you sort of, what did you inherit here? Was it just a, just the shell, was it? Or? Um, well, what I have here is all basically, as you see, the land uh -huh. right around it. Um, so we're going to we're going to try and develop. Um, we've got the back track, which is quite good um, for the anglers. Um, in the bottom field, what we are going to try and do, we're waiting on electricity. Um, it's expensive, so we're we're trying to raise the funds for that. Um, we would like a couple of lodges, okay. um, or a couple of holiday homes. Yeah. Um, we've already spoken with NI Water. Um, we don't have a problem with it. So, as I say, the long lease is there, and as I say, this is what we want to do. We're here for good. Yeah. We want this to be one of the best premier fisheries. You know, so, yeah. excellent stuff. Tony, if you take a wee walk around and get a shot down towards the bottom, I mean, just look at all that there for for fly life potential, and there's a fish rising in the in the background. There's a nice spot. It's a stunning setting. Yeah. It's stunning Anything coming through from the guys yet? Oh, just everybody saying hello. Hello, guys and girls. If you've got any questions tonight for any of us, uh, do the usual. Yeah. Just fill out the comment section. Uh, the guys will try their hardest to address any queries or questions that you might have. Uh, also, let us know where you're come, where you're joining us from this evening. Let us know you've been here. Uh, let us know you've been here, your experience here, or if it's on your hit list Absolutely. to come here. Kevin, where, where exactly are we here? Um, we're roughly about three miles outside Newton Ards and two miles outside Bangor, a uh, place called Conley Village, um, just off the little carriageway <coughs> in between the two towns. Uh, very easy to find. Um, see the church in the middle of the village, you're right beside the lake, and just come up the lane and turn into your left. So is it fly only, Jordan nope. Davies asks? We have fly fishing and we also have bait fishing. Um, with the float and the worm. Uh, what we do like to do is encourage the children and the parents coming up, it can be an expensive sport. So what we do here is the first child goes free, it'll go under the adult ticket, your second child will be half price and so on. So it means that you're not paying out 40, 50 pounds for the day. It can be a very, very cheap day because children get fed up after 20 minutes, half an hour yeah. and want to go home. So, you know, it's, it is cheaper. That's our experience. The play gen <laughs> PlayStation generation, definitely. Yeah, they, yeah. they get bored easy. Yeah. <laughs> my, we, my wee ones are getting into the fishing here at the minute. And last night we had them out and we're, uh, we're having to go with these carp. Yep. So we brought them up and uh, we give Molly, the youngest one, a bag of dog food to start feeding the carp. And uh, I says, Molly, you know, throw those dog biscuits in there a couple at a time, just, just a few every now and again. Molly gets the whole bag and just launches it. Launches, <laughs> launches the whole bag. Carp, carp went mad, and then by the time, by the time they drifted away, with none left. No, 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 no. Yeah, no, it's important to keep them at it. Um, it is. It is. I was up there yesterday, uh, Scarborough Game Fair, and they they were doing a big big thing with the yeah. kids. Um, but yeah. So is is there a restricted section here, Kevin, for kids, or is the whole thing? No. Well, 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 say restricted. We only have sort of 100, 150 yards for the bait fishing. Um, the reason on that is that the um, the boatmen, if they're out in the boat, they'll see where the floats are. They're not going to be all around the lake and trying to miss a float. So, but the rest of the lake's all for fly, 
Um, and as I say, you know, at, at present, it, it's really taken off at the moment. Yeah. You have a website or a Facebook page? We have a Facebook um, site. Um, as I say, it's Ross Yard Trout Fishery. Um, what we are trying to promote with it is um, working with combat stress. We're working with decorum. We're also working with um, mental health, physical health. Um, tomorrow, for an example, we have eight people from uh, East Belfast Mission, and they're homeless, and they're coming up tomorrow for their second time in three weeks um, to try and enjoy themselves and try and just forget what their problems are. What was their experience the last time? Did they enjoy it? Absolutely loved it. Absolutely loved it. Cats and fish, um, I always say, is a bonus. Uh, getting out is an experience. But in their life, they're out all day and out all night. So catching a fish, it just wasn't a bonus. It was basically the lot lottery to them, and they absolutely loved it. Right. And I, I, I see a great smile on some young faces too, mm -hmm. and it's a shame to see so many young people out. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, but yeah. no, I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Yeah. That's what we always advocate, that fishing is good for the soul, yeah, as well yeah, as the mind. Absolutely. absolutely. Even the stand up here. I mean, It is so atmospheric. I don't know if you appreciate this, guys, but it is so dark up here with storm clouds. Luckily enough, at the minute, it's holding off. But it is so still. Yeah. I don't know if you can make, if the camera can pick this up, but it is so atmospheric, it's unbelievable. Sorry, just bear with me a sec. Yep. Um, like the guys have been saying, there's fish on the move, there's fish rising. Mm -hmm. And it will probably kick off here later, I would say. I will. I will. Yeah. Later. Graham Lonhan says, yeah. tell Michael to go and catch a fish. Catch a fish. Here, I, want <laughs> <laughs> I got one live for the camera last time, I don't want to try to get <laughs> <laughs> that's one of the first times Kevin I've ever seen this at a fishery. Right. The dip nets. Yep. Unless I haven't been to a lot of fisheries, but it's not something you see. It's not something probably that I've seen in a lot of places. Yeah. Um, I saw it in England. Okay. And I think it's, to be, to be honest with you, uh, it's a necessity in all fisheries. Um, the likes of certain fisheries will not mention, but uh, who have had lice. And they'll come, and anglers don't think, and they'll bring their nets with them, and they use it in our water. Very easy to transfer the lice into my water, somebody else's water. Yeah. So, you know, and then when lice takes over, that's it. That's it. Say goodnight to your fishery. Yeah. Um, it's an expensive time to stock, and I think it's an ideal for all it costs to set up a, wheel, a wheelie bin. Put a sticker on it, fill it, and put the chemical in that you want to, to, to kill all the you know diseases yeah. that uh, come with your stuff. Um, for all the costs, you know, five, ten pounds a month. Yeah. Essential. Um, Alright folks, and this guy, this guy looks... These are all right, go on ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. Sorry, just let you know, we're all live on Facebook, so if you want to be in camera, that's absolutely fine. If you just want to stay in the background, that's fine too, don't worry. Can make you famous. <laughs> uh, Graham also asked, is a catch and release cam? There is, there's catch and release. Um, as you know, most fisheries really do go for catch and release now, or anglers, should I say. Um, it's becoming a, a, a big thing now. I know years ago, years ago, five years ago, I probably would have had a lot of fish in the head, like everybody else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now it is a no no. Everybody just likes to return fish. Um, it is good to see the bait angler coming along because it is a kill ticket and it's good to get a few fish out of the water so you can replenish it again. But yeah, we do have cats and release. It's good to see what the thing is. It's kind of a public place here, Captain. It is. A, it is <coughs> I've left it that um, people can walk their dogs. We have bins there for the um, their dog bags. Yep. Um, as I say, what, what we like to do is keep the general public Alert of exactly what they're doing, okay. you know, um, just keep the dog on the lead, yeah. it's nice, and then, you know, we've got seats out, they like to stop and watch the fish, they like to stop and watch the, the anglers, it's good crack like, yeah, it yeah. really is. No, you, don't, you don't even have to be fishing to appreciate it, and it's sort of, from our eyes, it's so close. Yeah. It's like, um, what's that boy out there, is that an otter? Nope. No? Well, that's a wee bird. It'll be a wee, uh, um, could. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we have a lot of wildlife, yeah. a heck of a lot of wildlife. Um, you know, we'll start with a couple of deer running around last Friday afternoon. Okay. Uh, running along the far bank. Uh, we have pheasants, we, you name it. Um, mm -hmm. We have the pheasants. Um, all the general bird life. Yeah. We have uh, a lot of mallard coming in to roost. Uh, we have a couple of pairs of um, geese as well. Wow. Excellent. Yeah, so as I say, 
there's plenty of wildlife for you. And this here is an, a no fishing zone here, Kevin, off the yep, bank. That's right. Um, the only time you'll be able to get at that access would be through the boat. Okay. So it will. But um, from what blows off it, you know, there's plenty of fly life all over the lake. Yeah. There it is. Um, coming to weed, we have a little taste just here in front of us. Yep. Um, that's virtually the only place we have the weed, um, which is great. And as I say, as every boat comes in now and again, it would turn it up and it helps the ducks and the little bits of wildlife. Instead of them hooking and poking at it, they yeah. can take it away with them and build their nest. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, that's virtually the only weed we have in the lake. And for the for the boats out on out in the boat, oars only or no. Um, you can use um, oars or you can use your own, uh, own engine, uh, battery wise. Um, what we will supply is the oars and the uh, life jackets. Okay. And it's two per boat. Two per boat. So it is. So I'm trying to, if it works um, with the insurance company, maybe to use float tubes, which would be good. Yeah. But be excellent. Uh, I need <laughs> need permission. And I've been really, really begging to see if it will work. But um, three times it might, it might pay off. Oh, definitely. That, that would be a really unique feature. There's no, very, very, very few places have float tubes. But yep. Very few places have boats as well. Yeah. You know, um, some of the larger fisheries that have been established for a long, long time have the boats. Um, so where we are, quite proud. That was a nice fish there. No, you can just imagine paddling a float tube along yeah. that shore. That well, I have tried it myself personally. Okay. Um, and it is very difficult with my short legs. Um, <laughs> I made a right fool of myself, but I had a bit of fun. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. excellent stuff. And Karen, can you show us? Around, can you show us inside? Yeah, what your sure. plans are here? Yeah, yeah. Where do you want to start from? Yeah, we're going to the lodge here. Actually, good photos in here. Kevin um, was showing me the last time it was up of the lake completely drained. Now, what we've done, um, as I said, scurries out of the room. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Camera shot. I know the feeling. Be, uh, this used to be a shipping container, and what we did, we insulated it and put the electrics into it. Uh, we have our wood burner in. Uh, we have water for tea and coffee. Um, as I say, everything's free. Come in, enjoy a couple, and uh, get out of the rain when it is raining. Uh, you want to switch the TV on, watch a video, as long as clean sort of videos, oh, I yeah. don't mind. Yeah, this is a seven o'clock show. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, nine o'clock would be better. Um, but as I say, this is what we've, we've adapted. At the far end, where Michael's standing, but we're going to knock in uh, to another unit that will go parallel with the porter cabin that we've just finished. And that will be starting very soon. And we'll be putting in um, a toilet. And we'll be using it for fly um, fishing lessons and stuff like that. Um, well, as I say, most of the guys have been using it. We want to move into the yeah, the new, mm -hmm. the new year sort of building. Huh? You mentioned earlier on, Kevin, a couple of guys have asked about camping facilities. Yeah. At the moment, there isn't any. At the moment, there is not. Right. Okay. Yeah. But that's what you're hoping for in the future. Nine, yes, it would be. Yeah. That's what we're hoping for. Okay. So, guys, just keep keep checking out the website and the Facebook page and um, and Kevin will constantly update with everything that's happening. If if we can find out too, we'll let you know. No we'll keep you posted. Gotcha. Sorry guys, go on ahead. Everything you need there boys, cup of coffee, cup of tea, away you go. Where's the bar? <laughs> <laughs> oh look at that, perfect timing. Rainbow. Okay, guys. Uh, we'll move down into the newer part. We've just re literally finished this a couple of about a week ago. Um, what we're trying to do is set up a small shop, just little bits and pieces of tackle, um, and not putting Michael out of business, and not competing with him either. So um, you know, it's just little bits and drabs that people would come up and they would like, you know, like to your leader or a spur line or maybe a, a new rod or something. It's not going to be expensive stuff. So. That's what we're we're angling for. Um, <clears throat> we'll do flies. We also do worms. Um, so as I say, picture wise, we have the lake. This is when it was empty two years ago. There we go. Oh man, I would never imagine it to be like that. I had, had visions of like a concrete bowl. No, but it's actually stuffed full of features. It's uh, a moon crater. Mm -hmm. 
And down in the farm, right there, really in the middle, if you can see it, are two people. <laughs> so much That's so that far ahead. You may not see it. Far away. Yeah. You know, so. That's incredible. So that was it, that was it without the water? That's it without the water. So it was. And, and obviously, obviously, they filled it up. That's it now. A natural stream, spring fed, and there's a stream coming in from the right hand corner. What was, the, what was the reason for the drainage? Was it leaking? Or? No, what they had to do before handover is to basically check to see if everything's structurally correct. Mm -hmm. But they, they, they pumped quite a lot of money into the pump house, uh -huh. uh, roughly about five, six million pounds, just to have the lake up and running in case something went wrong with other systems around, you know, the, the, the areas. So, as I say, I know structurally it's, it's well, and uh, then we filled it up. And uh, as I say, last year in... Um, this is get back April, May. I signed the papers, uh -huh. and we've been doing a lot of um, oh, a lot of background work uh, for about a year prior to that. Okay. And then we opened up on the 23rd of June. Uh, 22nd of June this year, we'll be holding a open day for all the fly anglers. Everything's free, so you come up and fish. Uh, we'll be doing hopefully um, a little bit of uh, fly casting lessons with Michael himself. And um, what I would like, if somebody could give up maybe a couple of hours to come up and do a little bit of fly tying lesson um, inside in the other in the other uh, lodge, yeah. um, which would be excellent. We're going to hopefully have burgers, a bit of a barbecue. Won't be very much, but as I say, I bring the free that day. Um, so just to just to go over that again, what date is the, it again? The twenty second of June. Twenty second of June, and what time does it start? It will start about ten o'clock. Ten o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Ten okay. in the morning, day about four. So it runs. So Sounds good. Yeah. If I'm not working, I'll be here. I better start the, uh, brushing up on the casting a bit. <laughs> <There> you go. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. I've been all beer fishing lately. But no, excellent stuff. Looking forward to that. And um, this is going to look well, Kevin, when we're all kitted out. Once we're finished, once yeah. we're, we'll get the electrics all hooked up into the Jenny there and um, she'll be great. And flies, can you take us over a few flies here? Yeah, sure. What's, um, if somebody was coming up here tomorrow, what would you recommend? At present, uh, where are we looking at? This little chappy. I can get it out. But okay. seems to be the big killer at the moment. It seems to be catching quite a lot of fish. Right, okay. So it is. Um, even smaller, down to 22. Right. Um, so it, it is really weird um, looking in the water and seeing it so clear and the fish coming up and, and just absolutely nailing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? um, as yet, the mergers, uh, buzzers, um, the blues, um, what are, traffic lights, they're excellent, they're yeah. present, so they are. Really, it hasn't hit the lures. Okay. It's not a lure water at present. Right, right. I've right. tried to tell people that, you know, Stay away from the lure until sort of end of June, July, maybe August. Yeah. And that's what we found last year. Um, it's more natural. They've got one good food winter there, mm -hmm. and they've now switched themselves on the natural feed, mm -hmm. um, which makes it harder. It's not. It's just not an ordinary trout fishery it's where like you, know, you really do have to read the water. Yeah. Um, you know, so as I say, naturals, um, Lex and Thomas are excellent. Okay. You know, so... Bloodworm, yes, they'll work. Don't get me wrong, the blobs work, yeah. but you're, that's with the buzzers. The okay. rest, so okay. they're, 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 ha they're honing in on it, yeah. but then they're, they'll hammer the buzzer at the last minute. So they will. But, um, um, have we got many wee uh, fry and things in the lake? We have we? a lot of fry. We have uh, quite a lot of newt. Yeah. Um, we have um, sticklebacks just starting over here. Uh -huh. So within another, I'd say another month, because of the way the weather is, they'll start to fry bash. And uh, that is good, good fishing soda. So that's where your baby dolls and things like that will come in. The baby dolls, oh, you know, yeah. ah, well, ah, baby dolls whiskers. and beavers. So yeah. the old, the old fly. So that's when they'll come in. Yeah, that was that was the fly. What twenty years ago? Was it? Yeah, yeah, baby well, dolls. At least. <laughs> <laughs> I see there. Uh, this place must be great with the dollies and the hoppers. It is, it is. Yeah. absolutely unbelievable. Um, as I say, it really, I have for a year. Prior to last year, looked at the place and done a lot of homework, mm -hmm. looked at the fly life, and I've also had a lot of help from uh, the likes of Young Craig 
um, Ronnie and Jim and David, great anglers. They know the water well. They know fly life, yeah. and they've helped me. Yeah. And, and it's basically right what do I need in, and they've said right this is what you sort of need, and this is what's on the water. And what we'll find now that gone the days where an angler, I, I was the same. An angler would have started and kitted up from the boat. Now the angler is going to the water, watching the water, seeing what's in the bushes, and then going back to their yeah. car, and then kitting up, which is the proper way of doing it. Yeah. And uh, a lot of the guys are starting to do that here, well, member-wise, uh, and you'll get a few visitors like that. But it's it's a friendly place where you, if people around you are catching fish, here, go and ask them what they're catching along. Yeah. If they have one, they'll give it to you. If they don't, they'll get one for the next time. Okay. And that's just the type of place it is. Yeah. Really, it is it is friendly. So, so. Excellent stuff. No, that's normally you come to a fishery and it's not so natural looking, Kevin. You yeah. Know, the the lures it, would almost be in place of all the natural flies. It's there. a lot of fluff chucking. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> absolutely. And I must say thank you, to Annette, because she's the one that set that out, not me. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. So she did. She set it all out. Very good. And it's good to have good help. Uh, anything from the guys, Tony? Oh, no. somebody mentioned blobs. Blobs. You hit it, hit it in the head there, so blobs, no, that's yeah. fine. Stuart Wiley has just mentioned, as far as I know, it's not too costly to add float tubes onto the fishery insurance, mm -hmm. but obviously. We'll try and sort something out, trust me. Sure. Um, and <laughs> the world will know when I get it on. Excellent. Uh, sure he's afraid of float tubes. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not you can discuss that with him. Coming off without having sore feet. <laughs> we need to take him to a wee small pond. That's it. Can you swim? I think you can swim. You can. But he's a man you support. That's bad. Hey. That's poor. <laughs> Easy that on. Poor. That's poor. Yeah. But Kevin doesn't. Kevin, thanks for having us up here. Is there anything else you'd like to say to the guys? Get them up or just remember, twenty second of June. Say everything's free, come up, enjoy your day. And if there is anybody out there that can give me a couple of hours just to, to, to help uh, tie flies, give me a bell. Yeah. I will absolutely love it. Um, as I say, Michael, he's helping out. Yeah. Uh, as I say, we're looking for other people just around the lake who want to give us a wee hand and do want to fish. Come on ahead, you know, and bring your children up, enjoy it. It's an enjoyable day. Let's hope the weather's just as good. Absolutely. Thanks very much for having us up. Thank you, man. And um, guys, this is sort of the start of a wee bit of new stuff to play with here. And we're going to be going out a lot more now and showing you some of different places, hopefully all around Ireland, if we can work it into the schedule. And as ever, join us all next week for another episode. And thank you very much, Gavin. Thank you. Cheers, Cheers guys. guys.